What is going on, comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce. Today is March 4th of 2022, and we're going to be going over the solicitations for Marvel Comics for the month of May of 2022. That's just over two months away, guys. I'm a little behind on getting this video out. I did want to get it out when this list was published, which was February 17th, I believe, of 2022, but that's okay. We're going to dive into these books right now, so I'm going to flip this camera over there, and I'm going to give you guys my live reaction to this list. I'm going to go over the art the writers, I'll read you the descriptions of any new number ones, and just give you my general feelings for each and every single book on this list. All right, guys, we are in front of the computer, and as you guys can see, we have the solicitations for May of 2022 up and ready to rock and roll. Let's not waste any more time and start going through this list. As always, I use CBR.com for this list, and the first book up looks like Captain America, Symbol of Truth. Oh, that's some pretty cool artwork. I believe that's Olivier Coppola, which is amazing. All right, we got Sam Wilson. That's right, Captain America, Symbol of Truth by Toch. Oh my God, I'm not even trying to pronounce that last name. And our, um, by R.B. Silva, which is, he's a great artist. Very uncovered by Olivier Coppola. Very uncovered by Olivier Coppola. Um, we've got an awesome Scotty Young cover, I'm sure. Stormbreakers by Nacho Botos. Uh, 40 pages, 4.99. Sam Wilson picks up the shield once more and enters a world of trouble. Following a lead from Misty Knight, Sam intercepts a mysterious group hijacking what appears to be an empty train. As he digs deeper, he discovers that the plot may be connected to a crucial piece of Captain America history, and surprisingly, Wakanda. The world is ready for two Captain Americas, but is Sam Wilson ready for what comes next? This sounds pretty cool. Um, I will probably check out the first issue, and I just love this cover. This cover is really freaking cool. Olivier or Oliver Copel is such an amazing artist. I'm really into that. Thor, you guys obviously know I'm gonna be collecting Thor. Thor is such a great book as of recently. It's really, really entertaining. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> All right, I don't like this, that's terrible. Uh, Thor 25, Donny Cates, Nadia, Shamus, and more as writers. I don't really like when they put multiple writers on a book, but that's okay. Martin Coloco, Nick Klein, and more as the artist, covered by Gary Frank, but that was that first room. First one, John Romita Jr. and a bunch of other people. We also got some J. Scott Campbell covers. So many covers from Marvel. Uh, on the 60th anniversary celebration. Ah, that's why they have so many people. 56 pages, $5.99. I'm gonna be obviously picking it up because I'm collecting Thor as I read it, so this is an obvious pickup for me, and I've been enjoying Donnie Cates' run so far. Hulk! This is what, Hulk 6? Another um, Gary Frank cover. Huh, that's kind of cool. I like this one better. What do we got here? Oh my God, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, Crystal Zulo, Zulo? That's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't like those covers. Hulk number seven, Donny Cates, Martin Cocolo um, uh, is the artist, and Gary Frank on the variant cover. We got some J. Scott Campbell. We got this Chrissy Zulo. Um, yeah, I don't really like that, but I am enjoying this th uh, Hulk run so far. Are you guys enjoying this Hulk run? It seems this run is either 50-50. Either you do like it or you don't, but I personally am enjoying this run a lot, so I'm just a Donny Cates fan in general. Ooh! Here we go. Is this Linnell Francis Yu? Sure is. I'm a really big fan of his art. This is Savage Avengers. We got, what is this, Weapon H. We got Anti-Venom. We got Deathlock. We got the Black Knight. We got Daredevil. We got Conan. Ooh, we got some Livia Copel, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't see the signature, but that's okay. We're going to keep moving on. Well, that's a pretty cool cover. Oh, I really like this. Who is this artist? I know who this artist is, but I can't pick it. I can't put my name, finger on it, my name on it. It's 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 missing in my brain. I've got a lot of really cool covers. Is this a new number one? Yep, Savage Avengers number one from David, uh, from David P. Oh, I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at pronouncing names. Carlos. Oh, Carrie Andrews. That's who that was. Very covered by Carrie Andrews. Uh, yeah, some really good covers. Oh, Todd Knock. I don't really like Todd Knock. All right, all new, all different, all dangerous team assemble since the exile from the. Hyborian Age, Conan the Barbarian has conquered the most dangerous foes the modern Marvel Universe has to offer. But what happens when this hard-edged Chimerian finds himself on the run from the cybernetic soldiers of the future known as Deathlock? I'm a big Deathlock fan, I really like him. Outgunned, outmatched, Conan must turn to an unlikely group of loners, berserkers and killers if he hopes to survive the night. But can this, these savage Avengers defy Deathlock's murderous manhunt or will they become the next targets in the crosshairs of tomorrow? Don't miss out on this bold new beginning for Marvel's most savage superheroes, a Ringo Award-winning David P 
Pe uh, Pepos, um, Spencer in Locke, uh, Scouts Honor, and Superstar Artist Carlos Mango, Kane the Conqueror, Robocop, Dead and Alive, introduced a sensational new lineup that will resonate across the era of House of Ideas. I'm into this. Sure, I'll give this new number one a try. Um, uh, John Romita Jr., I, I hate his artwork. That's that's a far different story, but that is 32 pages, $3.99, parental advisories, so it's probably gonna be a little darker. Next up, Spider-Man 2099. That's a really cool Linnell Francis U cover. Uh, Spider-Man 29 Exodus Alpha number one. Steve Orlando, Paul Fry, and cover by Linnell. Francis Yu, been a very uh, variant covered by Ryan Brown, 2099 frame variant by Ken Lashley, connecting variant covered by Ron Lim. After defending battles across the time stream, Miguel O'Hara is back at last defending his present in our future. For Spider-Man 2099, the only thing constant about his life in Nuva, New York is change. So when a cataclysmic crash creates a new Garden of Eden in what was once the American wasteland, Spider-Man knows exactly what the next atrocity will be. Watch as the Cabal plans to set society ablaze and you will never guess who is leading them. A 40 page one shot, 499. Um, I like Spider-Man uh, 2099. This looks like Ghost Rider 2099. I'm going to check this out. And it's just a little sad that it is a one-shot, but I do not love Steve Orlando, but I'll give it a shot. Why not? Spider-Man 2099. Exodus number one? All right. Isn't this... Oh, this is Exodus Alpha, and this is Exodus. I got it. Okay. Again, same um, writer. Dave Watcher is the art artist, and Ryan Stegman it has the cover art, and that is... Gorgeous. I love Ryan Stegman. Introducing the Winter Soldier of 2099. I guess that's his character right here. Or maybe it's this one. But this looks like Taskmaster. After a massive celestial body crashes into the wastelands outside of Nuva, New York, a new Garden of Eden erupts from the crash site, offering unimaginable po power. And it's not just the Cabal who is hungry to control the Garden. Everyone's got something to gain from Paradise, including Winter Soldier 13. Salvaged from the black market as a child, the Winter Soldier, raised on mad science, is bent on vengeance and rebirth but what truly lies within the garden 32 pages 399 this does not say one shot so this must be an ongoing of some kind that's pretty cool i love ryan stegman i don't know david watcher so i'll have to check that out spider-man 2099 we got loki number two steve orlando sure this is going to just continue that so i'm not going to go ahead and read that but i'm going to be getting both of those marvel events devil's reign in hawk lee it's decent. I like the way Electra looks, but not so much uh, Matt Murdock. Devil's Reign, Omega, number one. Chip Zdarsky and more. Raphael De La Torre and more. Covered by Inhoc Lee. We've got some variant covers. Oh, Alex Maleev is great. We've got a Peach Momoko variant cover and a Rod Reese. In the wake of the most visceral, daredevil, nay, Marvel stories ever, the Marvel Universe New York City stands remade and reforged. If not in Wolfgang Fist's image, then at least in his spirit. But after a battle that nearly tore the city and citizens apart, New York superheroes have no choice but to try to adapt to the new dangerous paradigm they find themselves operating under with 8 million people turned against them. 56 pages, one shot, $5.99. Uh, so you're paying a little bit more, but you are getting more pages. Yeah, I'm also going to be reading that because I am reading Devil's Reign, even though I am a few issues behind. All right, we got some Thunderbolts action. This looks like a team of heroes on a Thunderbolt squad, which is a little weird. Thunderbolts, number one, Jim Zub. Uh, Sean, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. We got a David Nakayama cover, a Sean Izaki cover. All right, we got some other ones. Headshot, there we go, trading card variant. Like lightning, superpower crooks have taken hostage in Staten Island. A dimensional rift tears open in Chinatown. Monsters running amok at the Met. Call in the thunder. New York City's finest are here to save the day. Hawkeye, Spectrum, American Chavez, Power Man, Persuasion, and Gustin Glory. You know them, you love them, they're the Thunderbolts. In the aftermath of Devil's Reign, the Big Apple has big problems. And it's up to the new group of Thunderbolts to turn things around. But when Clint Barton gets tasked with heading up this team and pro proving they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything in the Marvel Universe can throw at them, the first opponent he's going to have to face is himself. Well, that's pretty interesting. 40 pages, $4.99, uh, one of five. And so it's going to be a mini-series. Um, I'm on the fence about that. I don't know if I'm actually going to pick that up. It sounds pretty cool, but I don't know. All right, guys, it looks like we have a facsimile edition of Moon Knight number one. I'm going to skip through that, but you are going to pay $3.99, but that's a lot better than what you would actually pay, pay for that book if it was a actually original first print. Thunderbolts. 
Uh, Marvel Tales, uh, 104 pages, so that's a trade, so we're going to skip over that. Ooh, what's this? X-Men Unlimited, X-Men Green, number one of two, Gary Duggan, um, in X-Crossing Dangerous Lines. When the, a young X-Men breaks the laws of Krakoa and takes a life, it's up to Wolverine to track down his former student and take her down. But Nature Girl is tired of standing by while humanity destroys her home. Can even Logan quell her fury? Find out as a good girl breaks bad and to save the planet. The hit story from Marvel Unlimited comes to print for the first time in its exclusive bonus content. Um, yeah, I'm skipping that. I'm skipping most X-Men stuff. New Fantastic Four! All right, it looks like we got Grey Hulk, Wolverine, Mr. Fantastic, Thing, Spider-Man, uh, Ghost Rider, and Invisible Woman. Oh man, that looks so cool though. That's some really dope artwork. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not Scotty Young, but it's like Scotty Young-esque. All right. New Fantastic Four, number one of five. Peter David, Alan Robinson, and covered by Nick Bradshaw. We got Rom Lim. Oh, that's Chrissy Zullo. All right. Well, that's a better one than her previous ones, but let's keep moving on. When the unlikely heroes first banded together to become the new Fantastic Four, they made Marvel history. Now this fan favorite team returns in an all new adventure written by Peter David, set after the events of the group's first appearance. Brace yourself for a wild ride and guest stars aplenty, including the original FF, plus a series of mystery villains that you'll never see coming. 40 pages, $4.99. I will not be picking that up. Even though it looks seems pretty cool, but I will not be picking it up. Secret Invasion. This is probably leading up to the TV series that's going to be coming out in Disney Plus. Looks, looks like Gabriel Del Auto, Secret Invasion 1 of 5, Ryan North. Who is Ryan North? Um, all right, we got some at the Gabriel Del Auto. Giuseppe Camicoli is great. Arby Silva is great. I don't like Todd Knock. We got a Scotty Young cover. And a giant-sized issue kicking off an all-new five-part miniseries when Maria Hill detects the merest hint of Skrull. She acts quickly to put her defense plans into action. And when Nick Fury is sent to investigate a Skrull sighting in Iowa, he finds the last thing he was expecting. Our pale blue dot is in their sights, and this time Earth's old defenses won't work. Find out who you really trust. The invasion begins now. I don't know. Do we really want a second Secret Evasion? I mean, obviously they're doing this because of the TV show that's coming out on Disney Plus, but I don't know. I thought the original Secret Invasion was really fun. I don't think we need another one, but that's my personal opinion. All right, Gambit. All right, we're getting a new Gambit series. That's pretty cool. I'm into that. Sure. Ooh, some Peach Momoko goodness right there. All right, Chris Claremont. All right, that's a nice big name to see. Sid Cotian. I don't never heard of that. Covered by Willis Port. Oh my God, so many terrible, <coughs> so many hard names to pronounce. Uh, we got some Peach Romoco, Peach Romoco, Salvador La Roca, and at least Scott Williams. All New Adventures of the Legendary Thief by co-creator Chris Claremont. You think you know all there is to know about Remy LeBeau, the raging Cajun, the mutant known as Gambit, but legendary ex-scribe Chris Claremont has an ace up his sleeve with this new series. Before he joined the X-Men, Gambit encountered a mysterious girl named Ro. The mutant storm regressed to her child self by the nefarious nanny, and the two went up against the forces of the Shadow King. Now revealed for the first time, Gambit finds his path to becoming the heroic X-Men millions of fans call his favorite. Joined by rising star artist Sid Cotian, Chris weaves a story of action, intrigue, and revenge that made Gambit the mutant he is and forged his relationship with Storm. You'll get a charge out of this one, mon ami. All right, I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Chris Claremont, you can't pass a book when he writes it, so I'm going to be checking that out, and I'm a really big Gambit fan, so... I shouldn't say really big Gambit fan. I've never talked about him before on the channel, but he's a cool character. I liked him when he was in the cartoon, so I'm going to be checking him out. Amazing Spider-Man number something. Let's see, number three, Zeb Wells, John Romita Jr. This is gonna be the hardest thing for me. I don't like his art. He's one of my least least favorite artists to see on a book. And to see that he is the our main artist on Spider-Man, it's gonna be tough. Um, all right, we got some uh, variant covers. Salvador La Roca is great to see, 32 pages, 3.99. I'm going to be picking this up for at least the first six issues, which is normally the first story arc of a run. Uh, issue number four is right here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be checking it out and see see if I can put up with John Romita's artwork. And maybe Zeb Wells' story is good enough to keep me engaged, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Venom. Oh, that's pretty cool. We got Kane the Conqueror splitting Venom in half. What is that all about? Venom number eight. Ram B. Brian Hitch. I'd love to see him on the book. He's such a great artist. We got a uh, yeah, skull variant, scroll variant cover. 
Um, 32 pages, $3.99. I'm reading Venom. Venom. I'm enjoying it so far. Ram V um, is a great writer, so I'm excited to see what he's doing on that book. Um, Al Ewing's the other writer on the book. Carnage. What is this, Carnage? Ooh, that's a really cool cover. That is, oh, I can pinpoint it. Um, Boris something. Uh, Bjorn Barnes. So Carnage, number three, also written by Ram Vies. I'm picking this up because one of my favorite writers is on the book. So I've already pre-ordered the first two, and I'm going to continue pre-ordering this one. 32 pages, $3.99. Spider-Punk, hell yes. I cannot wait to read this book. Spider-Punk, number two of five. Cody Ziegler, Justin Mason. I hope Cody Ziegler can do a good job on this book. I have not read a lot by him, but I'm really excited for this book because I think Spider-Punk is a really cool character. What if Miles Morales, I guess this is number three, when he turns into the Hulk. If you guys are reading this, guys, let me know down in the comments. I'm not picking this up. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. It's good to see a lot of $3.99 books. Uh, ben Riley Spider-Man, another book I am not picking up. I, th I think I picked up the Scotty Young cover for the first issue, but that was it. J.M. Demetrius, David Bald Baldion? Baldion? Uh, variant covers, three, 32 pages, 399. Again, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Was this five issue miniseries worthy of picking up? Guys, let me know down in the comments below. And this book, this book right here, Gwenverse, I cannot get myself to pick up these issues. Um, there's some really cool covers to issue number one. I just, I couldn't pull the trigger. David Nakayama doing a gorgeous job. We got Gwen Stacy as Captain America. Gwen Stacy, obviously, as the Ghost Spider. Um, Tim Seeley, and I also just, I don't like Tim Seeley as a writer, so. Uh, yeah, I'm not picking this up guys. Let me know down in the comments again if you guys are and you guys are enjoying this 32 pages 399 Ooh, what is this? This is very cool. Oh, is this Avengers forever? No, nope, Miles Morales spider-man That is some dope artwork. Now that is a cool costume. This is not and who the hell are these characters? I know this is his clone, but I don't know who these guys are. That's really cool Scroll cover, Spider or Miles Morales Spider-Man number 38. Again, again, I never picked this book up. I think I picked up the Clone Saga just to have it. But uh, yeah, 32 pages, 399. Um, looks, yeah, those covers are dope. Venom Lethal Protector, three of five. David Machelin. Um, oh my God, the names are impossible for me to pronounce. 32 pages, 399. Um, yeah, I'm not picking this up. I'm picking up the main uh, Venom run, but not that one. Silk number five, Emily Kim Dashaki. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. We got an In Hawk Lee cover. 32 pages, 3.99. I picked up the first issue. I don't know if I'm gonna continue picking it up past that. Um, I just really like one of the covers for the first issue, but this is issue number five. You guys, let me know down in the comments below again if you guys are reading that. Savage Spider-Man number four of five. I really enjoyed Joe Kelly's writing. I really enjoyed Nonstop Spider-Man for what it was. I miss Chris Bacalo, but uh, I'm gonna continue reading this because I wanna see where this story goes. 32 pages, 3.99. X-Men Legends. Ooh, this is Carrie Andrews. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous cover. I might be picking this up just to have this cover because I'm not picking up X-Men Legends. Ooh, that's another really great cover. Hulk, Wolverine. That's terrible. That's Todd Knock, isn't it? Nope, that is Jurgen Birding. Uh, Roy Thomas, Dave Watcher. Uh, where's that Carrie Andrews ones? Yeah, the cover by Carrie Andrews. So I might pick this up just for the cover. X-Men Legends, number one. Before Giant Science X-Men brought Storm, Wolverine, Colossus, Nightcrawler, and Thunderbird to the team, Roy Thomas redefined the Merry Mutants in two seminal runs on the book. Now Roy, at long last, returns to the saga of X-Men to take us through a period of between his run on Giant Size X-Men for the first time, detailing Wolverine's government missions before his recruitment by Professor X, including unrevealed details on his battle with the Green Goliath in Hulk 181 and 182, an untold episode involving Beast and a host of missing mutants, and the seeker behind Wolverine's costume. Yeah, uh, actually, maybe I will check out this first issue because that's really cool. I just love, love this artwork. So maybe I'll pick it up just to see what the story is about because I love that um, cover on that first issue. Continuing Knights of X, I will not be picking this up. So I'll show you guys the covers and continue going on. Teeny Howard, again, I dislike Teeny Howard. What she's doing on Catwoman is so, so bad. 32 pages, 3.99. Legion of X. I believe I did pre-order the first one because um, I like Legion a lot. So the character Legion. And I'm like, interested to see where this goes. And those are some really cool covers. So Cy Spurrier, again, he is hit or miss in my book. I don't know who Jan um, Bazadula. I don't know her artwork, but I'm like, again, I pre-ordered the first one. So I want to pre-order this one. And I will get the first three. X-Men Red. That was a really creepy cover. Is that Parasite or something? 
Uh, Al Ewing, I like Al Ewing. Maybe I will pick this up. I don't know if I pre-ordered um, X-Men Red number one, but if I didn't, maybe I'll pick it up because I do like Al Ewing. And Stefano Castelli? And I do enjoy St Stefano Castelli's artwork, so I'll pick this up, check it out. I'll let you guys know what I think in a future video. Judgment Day is coming. Immortal X-Men, another book that I'm skipping. Ooh, that's a cool cover. I dig that. Oh, it's the scroll version. I got it, I got it. Karen Gillian, some people really like his writing. I personally do not like it all that much, so I will be skipping this book. 32 pages, $3.99. That's kind of cool. Is this Marauders? Yeah, Marauders number three. Again, I don't like Steve Orlando all that much, but Marauders number three is coming out. 32 pages, $3.99. Wolverine Patch, another book that I am not going to be picking up, and these covers are terrible. Um, Larry Hama, um, Andrea DeVito, 32 pages, $3.99. X-Men 92, another book that I will not be picking up. This is issue two, Steve Fox and Salva Espin. Um, again, another book that I won't be picking up. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. Man, it looks like Marvel's really leaning in to the X-Men books. Um, I like that cover. That's by Pepe de la Rez. He's a great artist. 32 pages, $3.99. I am reading X-Men on the main run, so I will continue picking this up. And I like this cast of female characters, especially X-23, Laura Kinney, New Mutants, Linnell Francis Yu on the artworks with magic. Ooh, this cover's better. That's a way cooler cover. X New Mutants, number 26, Vidya Ayala, uh, Rod Rice. Rod Rice is, um, does some really great artwork, um, but I am not collecting that, so I will not be picking it up. I may be able to get it for the cover, but I doubt it. X-Force number 29? Well, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, that's decent. X-Force number 28 by Benjamin Percy of uh, Robert Gill. I gave up on this a long, long time ago, so I will not be picking this up. Um, I really liked it for a long time and then just kind of fell apart. Wolverine, that is a cool cover. Deadpool, what's he doing with Deadpool? I guess he's curled himself into a ball. I don't know. That's a cool cover, though. Deadpool. Why is he cutting Deadpool in half? Oh, I guess, he, yeah, he did cut him in half. But why is he shot in the head? Maybe Deadpool shot him in the head? Wolverine, number 21, Benjamin Percy, Ad, Adam Kubert. Uh, yeah, I like both of these, but I'm not reading it. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over that. 32 pages, $3.99. Sabretooth, I am collecting this. I have enjoyed uh, this run so far. Sabretooth number four, Victor um, Lavalle, Leonard Kirk, uh, 32 pages, $3.99. The artwork in this book has been great so far, so I'm really enjoying that. The Excellent, another book that I am not picking up. Guys, if you guys are enjoying this again, let me know down in the comments below. There's just too many X books. Um, Peter McGillan, uh, Michael Allered, uh, yeah. 32 pages, $3.99. I really don't like the artwork on this book. Um, but again, you guys let me know. Is the interiors better? I don't think so. Nope, because that is the artist in the interiors. All right. Yeah, not a book for me. That's okay. Marvel Voices. Identity number one. They do a lot of these um, type books. They, they just highlight different things. And this one, just in time for Asian, American, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. <clears throat> Heritage Month comes a new spotlight on the best Asian superheroes in comics. Miss Marvel, Shang-Chi, Wong, Mantis, plus more surprises to come from an amazing lineup of new and established AAPI creators. Um, I didn't know that, um, what's her name again? Mantis was um, Asian American or Pacific Islander. I thought she was an alien. News to me. Uh, next up, Punisher. Number three, I am going to collect this for the first arc and see where that goes. Um, I really do enjoy when Jason Aaron is on point in writing a really good book. His Avengers run has been so, so bad. But before that, his Thor run was amazing. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt on this miniseries because I have enjoyed the first two issues of Avengers Forever. So uh, yeah, giving this a shot. I want to enjoy a Punisher series. All right, moving on. Ghost Rider number four, Benjamin Percy, Cody Smith, art by Cal New. Um, yeah, I'm collecting this, so I'm super excited for this because I want Ghost Rider to be amazing. I think the first issue came out. I believe I have it in my previous um, delivery. 32 pages, $3.99. Judgment Day is coming. The Avengers. That's pretty terrible. Jason Aaron, again, I'm not collecting this anymore. I stuck around for 50 issues and I had to stop after that. Avengers Forever number four? 
Um, enter Vibranium Man. So this is uh, Black Panther, but as Vibranium Man. I think he has a, kind of like a Tony Stark-esque uh, suit of, made of Vibranium, um, which is pretty cool. Avengers Forever number six, Jason Aaron, Jim Tao, uh, 32 pages, $3.99. Um, I gave up on this again um, pretty, a pretty long time ago, but uh, that was a pretty cool first cover. And he's supposed to be popping the question to uh, Hellcat. So we'll see where that goes. Iron Man number 20, Christopher Kentwell, Angela, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. That was, the first cover was by Alex Ross, which was this one up here. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You can't go wrong with Alex Ross, guys. You really can't. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. Fantastic Four, another book that I am not reading. Dan Slott, number, uh, sorry, Fantastic Four, number 44. Dan Slott, Rachel Slott. Oh, Rachel Slott is the artist on the book? Is that his wife, his daughter? Someone let me know down in the comments below. Uh, yeah, not reading it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. Eternals, I did collect this for like the first six, and then I gave up after that. Um, has this stayed good, or did it get worse? Asad Ribic is one of my more preferred artists at Marvel Comics, um, and I was sad to leave this book, but I just really wasn't enjoying it all that much. But Eternals, number 12, 32 pages, $3.99. Black Panther, another book I'm not reading, on, which is pretty sad because that issue number three blew up. Big time. Uh, Black Panther, number six, John Ridley, which he's doing a really good job on I Am Batman, in my opinion. Uh, Stefano Landini, uh, covered by Alex Ross. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. I'm so mad at myself for missing out on that issue number three. She-Hulk, number five. I have it. I just haven't read it. Um, or issue number one, at least. And I pre-ordered the first two or three. So we'll see where that goes. Maestro, War, War uh, World War M. All right, Peter David. Again, I'm not reading this. So, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you guys are enjoying this book. 32 pages, $3.99. I am enjoying seeing only $3.99 um, on a lot of these books. And that's a good thing because if you look at DC, there was a lot of $4.99, $5.99, $6.99. You were getting bigger books. There was a bunch of annuals, but I don't know. Seeing that the seeing this lower cover price is always a good thing. Apologies for the train noise. Uh, I believe this is um, Bjorn Barnes. Great cover. Great stinking cover. I'm excited to read this. Hopefully it's really good. Gemma McKay is a good writer. Um, Marcio Ferreira. I haven't, um, I believe I had the first issue. Again, I'm just so far behind on so many of my books. But B.R. Barnes, yeah, that's a gorgeous cover. And I'm interested to see where this book goes. Three, or 32 pages, 399. Moon, Night, Black, White, and Blood, issue number two. Yeah, Benjamin Percy, David um, Pose, Patch Richer. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be picking this up. I'm going to pick up the first one. I think I pre-ordered it because of a cover, but beyond that, I'm not going to be picking this up. Moon Knight is a great book uh, by Jed McKay. Moon Knight, number 11, Alessandro Cappuccino. Cap Cappa, I'm not even going to try. I don't know why I've tried to pronounce last names at Marvel Comics or DC Comics. But yeah, this has been a great book. You should be reading this book. It's an amazing book. 32 pages, $3.99. They're doing an amazing job with Moon Knight. Silver Surfer Rebirth, number five of five. Ron Mars, Ron Lim, uh, covered by Ron Lim and Don Ho. Um, yeah, I'm not really liking that cover all that much, but I am going to pick this up just so I have all five issues. Because I got the first one because of a cover reason, and I'm just going to continue picking it up. So I have all five, and maybe I'll settle on eBay or whatnot or something. 32 pages, $3.99. Captain Marvel, number 38. Kelly Thompson, one of my more favorite writers at Marvel Comics, but I'm not reading this series. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it over. 32 pages, $3.99. Captain Carter, number two. Three? Three. Um, Jamie Machiavelli, Marika Cresta. Um, I'm not reading this. I'm, I really just don't care that much about this character. 32 pages, 3.99. I am reading this. Iron Fist, issue number four of five. I wish they made this an ongoing. I don't know if this book is any good or not, but I really wish they would give Iron Fist a real shot, especially with an Asian character in the role. I think that would be really just thinking cool. Um, 32 pages, 3.99. Shang-Chi, issue number, let's guess, 12. Yes, issue number 12. Um, yeah, again, another book that I am not reading, but guys, let me know down in the comments below if I should be giving this book a chance. 32 pages, $3.99. The Marvels, another book that I'm not reading, but that is a gorgeous Alex Ross cover. So stinking cool. Oh, that's a cool cover, too. Uh, variant cover by uh, Francisco Mana. 
That's really cool. Another book I'm not reading, The Marvels, number 11, 32 pages, $3.99. Uh, this is Deadpool, uh, Bad Blood, number three in number four. Another book that I'm not reading because I really just don't like uh, Rob Liefeld, so I'm skipping this one. 32 pages, $3.99. Alien, again, another book that I'm not reading. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if I should. Philip Kennedy Johnson is a great writer. Salvador La Roca is a great artist. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. Conan, or King Conan, issue number four? Nope, six of six. Jason Aaron, Muhammad Asar, another book that I am not reading. Uh, not for any reason, I just I missed it. And uh, I was so far behind, I just... Figured I would wait until this came out and trade or something to give this a shot. 32 pages, $3.99. Now we're jumping into some Star Wars goodness with Obi-Wan. Another book that I am not reading. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that Peach? Is that Peach? Yep, Peach Momoko right there. Uh, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of five. Uh, fast approaches the ultimate destiny of one of the Jedi's most renowned masters as he spends his final days in the remote deserts of Tatooine. Uh, or Tatooine. Obi-Wan Kenobi takes his time to reflect on and record key moments of his heroic life long lived. Um, so yeah, I guess Star Wars, if you guys are into that, 32 pages, $3.99. Star Wars Crimson Reign. Linnell Francis, you on that amazing cover. This is the final issue of that, written by Charles Soule. Steve Cummings is the artist and cover by Linnell Francis, you. We got some variant covers. There's been tons of covers for this book. Holy crap. Uh, 32 pages, $3.99. We got the movie uh, cover. Star Wars Tales of Chrysanthemum. Uh, number one, Jason Aaron, Karen Gillian, Mike Delato Jr., Mike Mayhew, Mark Lemming, and Will Slaney. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Photo variant cover of also available. That's a cool ass looking Wookiee. Uh, 112 pages. Damn. Seven, but that's not bad for 112 pages, only $7.99. That's really good. Um, Han Solo's in Chewbacca, number three. Again, another book that I'm not reading. Oh, 40 pages, but you are paying an extra dollar for those eight extra pages. Uh, what is this? Uh, Darth Vader, number 23. Greg Pack, again, another series I'm just not reading. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, so I'm not reading any of this. 32 pages, $3.99. Star Wars, the main title, number 24. Charles Soule, Roman Rasanas. I'm um, totally butchering your guys' names. I apologize. Uh, the Final Hunt. 32 pages, $3.99. Ooh, that's a cool cover. Star Wars, Dr. Afra. I wonder what's going on with her chest there. Number 21, Alyssa Wong in... I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but... Uh, Star Wars, Dr. Afra. Number 21, 32 pages, $3.99. Star Wars Bounty Hunters. This book continues to move on. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Giuseppe Camicoli, Ethan Sachs is the writer, Paulano, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, is their artist on it. 32 pages, $3.99, and that is the end of the solicitations for Marvel Comics for the month of May of 2022. I'm going to say this again. I am underwhelmed by the books that came out. There was nothing that I was super excited to see, which is a huge disappointment. I hope the indies bring it in the month of May because both DC Comics and Marvel Comics have really kind of let me down. There's nothing I'm super excited about, and that is just... Kind of sad. Like, where is St. Trainers Academy? I know it's on hiatus because I know issue 18 was wrapping up the first semester of school, but that book was one of my favorite books for Marvel Comics. I always read it the second that book came in. I don't know, guys. What did you guys think? Are you guys excited about any of these books? Are any of these books a must-read when you first pick them up from your new comic book shop or when you get them in the mail? Guys, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you guys are not subscribed, get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. I'm going to end this video, guys. Just remind you guys, we do have a 2K giveaway going on right now. It's easy to um, get, get entered. All you do is follow the instructions in this video that I will link up here. We also have our memberships that are now live we only have four members which is cool for our four members but if you guys want to have the amazing perks that come along with being a member guys you have to sign up it's only $4.99 and it supports stephanie and i making this channel bigger and better all right guys thank you guys so much i will see you guys on monday for our must have pickups i missed last week so i want to make this one extra special for you all right guys have a great weekend i'll see you guys on monday peace